In this video tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a YouTube pop-up lightbox effect that auto plays the video. So in this first example website, realgooddigital.com, as I scroll down the page, we have a section right here that says, work with us, watch now. It appears to be a video, and this is actually a lightbox component in Webflow. And when the user clicks onto this video, it automatically plays a pop-up, and it automatically plays the video straight away that was a bit loud and the great thing about lightbox is whenever i click into that video as you notice if i actually click out of the video it would automatically cut out the music or the sound which is amazing so that is the main benefit of using a lightbox in this second example slowtalk.us we can see that it has the exact same similar principle this watch demo button was actually done through a lightbox and when the user clicks onto it because this is not a YouTube video, it's actually a Vimeo video, it doesn't actually autoplay. So you can see the problem here is that this actually has an extra step. When the user's on the site and when they click watch demo, they then have to click another button in order to play the video, like so. Slow talk helps you. But the great thing is with the light box, all the audio gets cut off when you click out of it. But this is an example of not the best user experience. So this only works on YouTube videos and it's very, very simple to do. So let's jump into Webflow. So as you can see right now, I just have a image of Carrot Animation logo. And below that is a lightbox component. As you can see right here, it is a lightbox. The next thing is if we actually go into this lightbox, you'll notice on the right hand side, if you go into settings, you'll be able to see where it says lightbox link settings. It says media. And that's when we can actually add in our YouTube video. And I've actually done that. And once that's done, we can go ahead and click preview. And if I click view channel trailer, you'll notice that nothing has happened. We have this same step where we have to click into the plus icon, the play button. Hi, hello, Konnichiwa. Bye. And then you'll have the video being played. So in order to make this video autoplay on YouTube, super simple. All we need to do is just add a couple of text after the URL. So we want to go ahead and add question mark, autoplay equals one. Hit enter, and that's literally it. So again, question mark, autoplay equals one. So now if we actually preview the, the site and hit view channel trailer, you'll notice Hi, that the video is autoplaying. So that is how you do it. Literally, just add that question mark, autoplay equals one, and that's it. Here is a bonus tip because you guys stay up to the end. Let's just say, for example, you click onto this video and let me just Hi, turn this down. You'll notice that the video is in a certain resolution. It's, it's about 50% of the screen. Let's just say, for example, this is a very important product video and you want the video to take more of the screen. What you can actually do is you can go ahead and add a custom embed code. And again, keep in mind, you need a paid site plan or account plan in order to do this. And you want to go ahead and paste this code, which I'll leave in the description. And all this is, is it's targeting the default class that Webflow creates. So whenever you add a component in Webflow, uh, a Webflow default component, they automatically have class names. This one is w-lightbox-frame, and this is w-lightbox-embed. And I've gone ahead and just typed in width and height, and I've just changed it from 50 viewport width and I just want to change it to 85 viewport width and 85 viewport height. And again, you guys can play around with these numbers. And now if I hit save and close and I republish my site and I go back to the site and I refresh the page and I click view channel trailer, you'll notice that the video is taking up more of the screen. So in certain cases, this is very, very beneficial and this is a great way to stand apart from your competitors. So I hope you find this video very helpful, super easy solution. I'll see you in the next video. Points. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.